Welcome to Ascending Soul's Journey. This is Lorianne, your psychic, here to give you the daily messages for Monday, June 25th. We're going to look at love, career, finance, all the messages I get from the other side, I will relate to you. And at the end of the reading, I will pull from the Romance Angel cards for you as well. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. So take from the reading what actually is applicable to your life. And let's see what your cards are. We have the Emperor, the Eight of Wands, the Lover's card, the moon card and we also have the two of cups so there's a group of you where you've been waiting to hear about um a job you sent out your resume you may have already spoke to this person once by phone waiting to see if you're going to get this opportunity this person is going to reach out to you over the next seven days so keep in mind it could have just happened or it's coming in the next few days but my readings i ask for a seven day period of time they are going to communicate with you and and yes i do see that you're going to get offered this opportunity this is an opportunity where you may have to travel. It looks like you have to actually physically relocate. It is too far from your home uh, to commute on a daily basis. Now, this is an absolute choice of yours. The company may or may not help you with your moving expenses. But what I'm hearing is it has the potential to be a really good opportunity for you. For another group of you, You have somebody from the past. This is on a romantic level. This individual person held back a lot. They didn't open up. They didn't share with you. They didn't tell you exactly how they felt. They may have made it, um, well, here we go. The energies of the emperor, very stoic individual, can be very stubborn, unwilling to compromise. It, this is the type of person... What they're showing me is they actually do fit the energies of the emperor, meaning they already had things planned out for the two of you for a future, but they didn't share any of that with you. They're coming back. You may have left them. You may have said, you know what, that's it. I'm not, I'm not waiting around. You know, you're not going to play. I don't want to play this game. And they're coming back and they're coming back to actually reveal to you what they should have told you in the beginning. Now, we're looking at the energies of Pisces and Cancer, Aries, Gemini, and some fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Now, keep in mind, again, these are the energies of these individuals. It doesn't mean it's their zodiac sign. This is a general reading, so you'll have to see how it applies to your life. For another group of you, you have a brand new person coming into your life on a romantic level. This person is very wise, very mature, highly intelligent individual, and you have an opportunity to... They, they want to date you. They want to get to know you. They want to see who you are. Mm -hmm. They're actually going to like really fall in love with you. <laughs> no, and it could be opposite. You may fall in love with this person, but it has the makings of a beautiful new relationship that could turn into something very long term. For another group of you, what they're showing me is you have a choice to make as far as a career is concerned. Now, for some of you in this group, you may be writing poetry, writing a book, writing a blog. It looks like blogs because you're online on a regular basis all the time. So it looks like you may be getting an opportunity to write blogs. And it does fall in line with what you really want to do, what you're passionate about. But you actually have a choice because you have two offers coming to you. Yep. One is for you to be solo and do your own work independently. 
The other is this opportunity coming in where you would be under their wing. You'd be listed like as a consultant, but not an independent contractor, meaning they're going to pay you uh, through a paycheck. But really do the investigation on this company and that will help you make a decision. You want to, you know, knowledge is power. Knowledge is always power. The more we learn about anything, whether it's a passion of ours or whether it's a company that we're checking into, knowledge is power. And they want me to reiterate that to you. It has the makings of a really good partnership if you do choose to go with them. Either which way for this group of you, single, as an independent contractor or as a consultant for this company, it's gonna be very good for you because you're gonna to get to do what you truly, truly are passionate about doing. For another group of you, you may have communication coming in from family member. This could be from a father figure, somebody that you definitely hold in high regard. There's something going on in the family that they want to communicate to you. It doesn't look like it's anything major urgent, drop what you're doing and fly home kind of a thing, but it is something of very much importance to this individual. It is a very strong masculine energy that's coming through. So this, and it is an authoritative figure. And you'll need to make a decision if this is actually going to work for you. It's going to be different for all of you what it's about. For another group of you, you are going to meet a brand new person. You may already be in a relationship with somebody. This brand new person is actually going to be a soulmate to you and it's going to be different for all of you. Because not all of you were born on the same day. Not all of you have the same time you were born in the same location. So this is going to be for a group of you where this new person coming in is your true life partner. This is somebody that you know, you're going to know like that, that they are your soulmate. This individual is very um, exciting. They're very different than what you're used to. It's almost like you're used to earth energies is what they're showing me. Um, you know, where they're more grounded, they're more stable, they're looking for the long-term secure foundation. This individual is like exciting, they're passionate, they wanna jump on the moment now, but they also come with a lot of wisdom and intelligence. They're very charming, very charismatic, and you're really, you're gonna know like instantly who I'm talking about. If this applies to you, keep in mind over the next seven days, so it could have just happened or it's coming, but this is, this is gonna be beautiful. It really is. So let's pull your romance card for the day and see how it ties in with the reading. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So yeah, some of you have somebody brand new coming in where you are going to feel so drawn to them on a very different level because this is a soulmate to you. For others, this could actually be what very rarely do we run into our twin flame in this lifetime, but there may be a couple of you, this could be a twin flame. The eternal love, the other, the true other half of your soul. Whether this is a, a person from your past returning or brand new, you have an opportunity coming. This attraction, you're not going to be able to deny it. It's going to be that, that intense. It's going to be really wonderful. So I do wish you all a wonderful day. Much love.